line, burnout truck here, burnout blazer, and uh, they got two lines going in, and a uh, small burnout pad. We're gonna let it eat first and see what happens. Uh, you only get two minutes this time, they're gonna limit you to that. And uh, yeah, there's lots of different points. If you don't pop the tires, that's five points per tire. If you stop, so we're gonna put it in first. We're thinking about maybe second, but we're scared and let it eat. exactly how we wanted the burnout contest to end. It's fun. Where's all my parents at? We got any parents out here? Parents gang. We all know the deal. <laughs> Alright guys, 
guys, we made it back to South Carolina with the old burnout truck here and definitely did not go the way we wanted it to. Uh, let me show you what the shifter looks like in here. So in here, this was basically all I had um, and it doesn't really shift well. Can't really move it at all. This thing ended up kind of locking up on me and uh, that's why. A, nothing says where reverse is, couldn't find it, it wouldn't click in, um, nothing stays right in these little detents, so. That was definitely on us. Uh, probably should have went and bought a different shifter, but you know, going for something cheaper. Um, we had it laying around, so figured we'd just go ahead and use it. Um, then also we had some decently sticky tires on it that we used in the Danger Ranger. So these are 245s on here. And I think, you know, once you wear these down, they just get stickier and stickier. So when I came in spinning them, you could see my wheel was locked um, to the left and it was just pushing right through it straight into the wall. Once I got to the wall, could not find reverse. I tried. Um, so I figured I'd just throw it back into first and roast them off the best I could. Um, you hear it bogged down a little bit. That was me trying to play with second, third, see what it would do, get some more wheel speed to hopefully pop them, but they still got some meat left. So we'll have to do another video once we assess all the damage with the transmission and the engine, making sure everything works right still. Um, we'll go ahead and pop them. But uh, yeah, we can be upset about it. It wasn't great, um, but uh, it's all right. We'll uh, come back out. We'll see at Bristol. We'll get everything fixed up get it working well we'll find a place around here to do some test burnouts some test tip-ins get it dialed in do some skinnier tires on the rear maybe not have as much of a brand new tire on there um but yeah it was uh overall a good time a little disappointing but uh it is what it is it's uh, i guess how you bounce back from it and uh we'll definitely be back at the next one and you'll see uh the old blazer back out there again um you can see cletus in the one clip man he was so disappointed he thought it was going to have a good tip in and then just got stuck at the wall but he did something similar got stuck at the same wall um he messed up his car a lot more than or messed up toast a lot more but uh either way we had a ton of fun um it was tough building this thing in two weeks and for such a tight budget so i think we'll go back and fix a few of the things that we went and skimped out on and uh, make it a much more um, refined and a uh, better burnout truck for the competition because as we were running up there it was leaking transmission fluid so the shifter was messed up i think there was less probably probably lost a quart maybe two quarts so it was not going into reverse uh but yeah it is what it is we tried um and we'll uh, we'll definitely be back at bristol to give it another go so uh appreciate everybody who watched this little series um it's not technically over. We'll have some more uh, burnouts with it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.